Southwest Outfit Amoteku arrests 17 bandits who stormed Ondo community. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Amoteku officials at the Southwest State had on Thursday said the regional outfit was under lack following renewed attacks by killer hatsmen and terrorists in Ondo State. Yes, so they shall be on the alert. It is becoming too, pre too frequent. <laughs> I say again, one of my popular sayings, if you think that you are actually safe in this country, I don't care where you stay. If you like be staying in an underground building, if you like be staying up, let you be living very close to the sky. As far as you are in Nigeria geographical area, nobody is safe. I'm not trying to incite anybody. And the not are ah, the not one is in fact the not one has gone viral. Even the South Eastern has gone viral. It has gone global. People now know that something is going on in the Southwest region. The Southwest own they're trying to. Why are you seeing what is going on? Are you seeing? <laughs> hey, are you seeing what is going on? My own is I don't know what they tell these people. When they give birth to them, is it that they tell them that anybody who is not a northerner is, is a problem, or anybody who is not a northerner is their enemy? Because the audacity these people have to go into people's farm number one. If you are someone who is abs who is absolutely normal, you are not mentally you are not mentally disturbed. If you go into an area, what do you do? You try to study environment and you try to make friends with the people of that community. Let's say, for instance, you're a tourist or maybe you're a businessman who business took you to a place where you don't even know. As a human being, what you're going to try to do is to ensure that you are with, you make peace with people of that environment so that they can actually welcome you. You're going to be in peace with them. But these people, whenever they go or you hear that they actually arrive at a place, they immediately they come in, they cause trouble. I keep asking myself, hey, you should say, no, go learn how to language like this. Yes, now. Let us all learn it because I don't understand. Is it that if you don't speak their language, what am I even saying? Even their brothers, they kill them. So what am I even saying? I don't know what they tell these people. I don't know if they tell them that they are the owners of the whole Nigeria because the audacity they have. No, now. Nobody will tell me that I should. No, no. Look at, look at the news. Follow the news. You will not hear if farmer and um, herdsmen clash. You will never hear of a headman dying. I mean a headman. Katurera. You will not hear. All you are going to hear is so so and so farmers died. And the farmers they are the ones in their land though, doing managing themselves, minding their business. So tell me, this is why I'm saying it's not safe. And the Southwest should keep their alert. This the rate at which this news is co as in is coming. Ha. They should be very, very alert. They should be very alert. The Southwest has even told them, told them themselves that look, not even for any reason. They were like, okay, even economically, this beef we are eating is not helping. Let us switch so that we can pump the money into various places. At least people who are into poultry, you can eat chicken, you can eat turkey, you can eat any other thing, you can eat um, um, bush meat, you can eat any other. Like they said, it, the governor came out to say the other day. I don't know if it is the news that is going to be causing all this one. Let's find out more about us, the news in detail. Please stay with us. Oppressive by the Ondo State Security Network, codenamed Amateku Kor, are currently interrogating no fewer than 17 suspected bandits arrested with over 30 dogs, cutlass, and charms. Reports revealed that they were arrested after the stormed. Okiti Tukpa Town, the headquarters of Okiti Tukpa local government area of a state, and could not explain the mission to residents who were alarmed. American officials and the Southwest state had on Thursday said the regional outfit was on the alert following the renewed attacks by killer hats men and terrorists in Ondo State. The officials in Oshun, Oyo, Ondo, and Ekiti State had discovered that they received credible intelligence that terrorists and bandits fleeing military operations in the northwest would seek refuge in the forest of a southern state. They therefore said they commenced combing forests in the region for the fleeing terrorists. 
although they call had yet to link those arrested at the Okitik Bukpa to a particular crime, residents panicked over their suspicious movement within the town on Thursday and alerted the personnel who arrested them. The commander of Amoteku in the state, Akongu Adetunji Adelaye, was quoted by Daily Post that a northerner stated that an unnamed person invited them to the state. He said, There were people who claimed to have come from the northern part of the country with dogs, charms, and cutlasses, and the people of Ekitipupa area, who were not comfortable with them, raised the alarm. But on inter interrogation, they claimed they were invited to Okitipupa by somebody and they are actually working for the person. All attempts to reach the person they claim to work for have not yielded any result to date. However, we want to one resident to be vigilant when they see what I call mysterious things. We have over 30 dogs among able bodied men who don't even know where they're going. They claim they were dropped at Okitipupa by a vehicle and that the vehicle had left. This calls for a serious concern, looking at the very serious situation, security situation in the country. Investigation into who brought them and their real mission is still ongoing. They were attempting to enter the forest behind the military barracks in Okitipupa when they were arrested. And you see it. Can you see it? Hmm. Hmm. It has a lot to do with the government. It has a lot to do with the next election. It has a lot to do with the government not doing their job. The government actually backing these people. If the government wants to come out and say they're not backing these people, first of all, they are going to start persecuting. We don't even want the names of those people. So far, they are not going to persecute their political enemies because that is why I say politics, politics is a very dirty game. Yes. The government came out to say, oh, they have the names of the financiers and sponsors of Boko Haram. And, you know, we are like, okay, nice one, nice one. The name we have not heard till date. They only published 40 names of some soldiers and people that, you know, you cannot point. The real cabal, the main people who fund them, that makes them to do things in, as in various ways. Start asking yourself, what is giving these people the audacity to do this thing? The main people, they did not, they did not call their names. That is why I'm telling us, in fact, I'm pleading, please, the next election is a matter of life and death too. Don't come out and vote for because my neighbor told me that this person is good. He's going to give us contracts. Hey, hey. Don't be this gullible. Your gullibility will lead you to somewhere that is more dangerous. <laughs> At the end of the day, we we'll probably will look back on all those things very soon and it becomes so blue. And it can only happen if we vote the right people. Governor, president, senator, senate president, whoever. Then the person goes on to pick ministers who are actually reasonable and are the right people for the job. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.